Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Cypress tutorial, I'm going to talk about a little bit on the auto completion or code completion or IntelliSense basically. So if we go to the Cypress documentation, right, what exactly when we say auto completion or code completion, you would have seen if you're working with Java, uh, when we start writing a code in Eclipse, there is an auto completion or there is a suggestion of methods that come when you start typing something, right? Uh, if there is a match between the method, etc. So similar thing is uh, available in Cypress. And if you go to the tooling section on the guides and uh, to the IDE integration, we'll scroll down and you will see that we have certain uh, plugins which will uh, basically get into the details as we go along. Okay, but uh, the first thing is uh, important uh, around the code completion, which is important because you would have seen in the previous video when we start typing in, say for example, in the E2E test case, if I create a new test case or in the existing test case, when I used to type in say CY, okay, and then dot, it, it doesn't basically display what exactly, what all options or what all methods are available, right? And even uh, CY doesn't uh, come in picture. Right now it is coming because I have already used it once, right? So this is not basically the IntelliSense or, or, or auto completion feature. So in order to enable it, what uh, options we have? We have the triple slash directives. So what is the, what it does is it, it is basically the simplest way to see IntelliSense when you are typing a command. Okay. So what we need to do is for example, the triple uh, slash directive it does is you simply add this to a particular file. And within that particular file, the VS uh, Studio will automatically detect, right? So it is per file basis. So if I go ahead and copy it and then paste it here at the top, okay? So let's go ahead and pay, paste it here, okay? And now if I go ahead and start, okay, let me save it. Uh, let me save it, okay? And now if I go ahead and say cy dot, you'll see I'm, I'm getting all the methods basically, right? So you'll see that I'm getting all the methods that are available for 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 this particular cypress command right so this is basically how you can enable on a per file basis now this is only specific to this test1.cy.js okay this directive that i have used okay so triple slash directive is only specific to the file but if you have to do it on every file that is not a very good approach right so you can do it at a global level so that in all the files that you are writing or all the test cases that you are writing that configuration is available. So what we need to do in for, for that, we have the JS config. Okay. So if you see here, we have the JS config or we can create a JS config dot JSON. Okay. And within that, you simply go ahead and paste this code that is highlighted here. Okay. And that's pretty much what will enable the IntelliSense. Okay. So instead of adding triple slash directive to each JavaScript spec file, some IDs. So like in VS code, okay, not everyone, they are men mentioning some IDs. So VS code does understand it. So we are using VS code. That's absolutely fine. And we'll add the JS config at the root of the project. That means we'll add it at this particular level. Okay. This, this is the root, right? So at this level. So what I'll do is I'll select the Cypress automation. Okay. And then create a file. All right. So I'll create a new file. We'll just create a new file. Okay. At this level, root level. And then what is the name of the file? The name of the file is jsconfig.json. Okay. So I'll simply copy it and let's create it, paste it there. Okay. Hit enter and you'll see the file got created. Okay. And now we simply go ahead and paste this particular code, include node module Cypress and then Cypress particular code. Okay. So I'll simply copy this and then paste it here in the jsconfig.json. All right. And then save it okay let me cancel it so i'll save it and then i'll remove this okay so i'll remove this triple slash directive from here save the file okay go to the project explorer now we have this file which is jsconfig.json which has this particular code okay and now if i go to any of the file okay so for example i go here and i start typing in cy dot okay it should basically you'll see that it is fetching data for better typescript intellisense right so immediately it will start recognizing you will see that cy dot and then it started fetching okay you'll see in the le uh, left hand side in the bottom it is fetching data for better typescript intellisense right so this is the global way so now it doesn't matter which file i am on okay i can go ahead and basically then start typing in and it will detect the or do the intellisense okay so it will detect all of those method all right so this is basically how you are going to enable the intelligence so that you do not worry about when you are you know say for example 
writing describe okay you'll see now it is basically available even the mocha uh, it is coming out of mocha and mocha is um, cypress already bakes in mocha right so Cy mocha is built in within uh, cypress so that is why even describe and eat keyword so most of the you know all all the keyword that you will use from mocha and chai and whatever is there in the cypress ecosystem will be available to you now okay so this is all about uh, this particular video to quickly enable the intelligence feature because this is highly recommended you will not be able to remember each and every command right it is very very hard and it it you shouldn't be actually worried about, you know, what all methods are available, right? That's not the point of learning any automation tool. You shouldn't be memorizing, you know, what methods, how they are doing. Basic methods, basic functionality uh, is, is what is required, right? Not every method you need to buy hard. So in that particular case, when you have this IntelliSense feature, then you know, okay, these are the methods available at this particular uh, place I can use and then you go ahead and use it, right? And, and then there is also description that is available right so you can basically you know go ahead and say cy dot and say for example i go to add right and i can go ahead and see the details what exactly this particular uh, method is all about right so these these details are basically you know uh, available in that particular case as well right for example as uh, is, is a method right and all the details around that you will be able to see that okay and how to use it as well so that will make your life a lot easier for any automation tool when you are learning and that's a better and effective use of your time rather than you know just memorizing you know unnecessary things okay so that's all for this video i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching